In the meantime, I'm joined by California's State Health Director, Dr. Sonia Angel. She's an expert, as we all know as well. Governor Angel, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, the California governor, Gavin Newsom, says your state has what he calls, he says it has bent the curve. What signs of progress are you seeing right now? Yeah, so well, so we've been um, using models, as many others have, to sort of forecast the direction of what might be predicted or anticipated, uh, given what we know so far about the movement of COVID-19 in our population. And this bend the curve comment indicates that, in fact, we are doing really well. And I got to give California residents the credit for staying home and doing all of the things that we've challenged them to do through the orders that we have that have decreased the number of people who have ended up in the hospitals as a result of uh, COVID-19. So as we track going forward, we see that curve sort of turning downward. Now, we're not out of the woods yet, and this is cautious optimism. But what we do think at this point is that it's the right moment to start talking with Californians about what it might mean to transition or to modify our current practices in a way that would look forward until the time that we ultimately have population or immunity or are confident that uh, Californians are no longer at risk from COVID-19. Until there's some really uh, legitimate uh, treatment and certainly a vaccine would be great, but that could be a year or so away. Uh, yeah. At the same time, it could doc be. Dr. Angel, the Los Angeles County, uh, Los Angeles County today reported its highest number of deaths in one day, 40. Are, you, are there still areas of concern in California? Look, there are absolutely areas of concern throughout the state, and we're watching and being very uh, cautious about this. Um, we do know that deaths sort of lag in the, as an indicator, right? Because that's, the, uh, that's after the infection has occurred, it's developed, they've become systematic, they've ended up oftentimes in the hospital. And so time has passed since the infection originally occurred. So we don't uh, think that deaths are suddenly gonna stop. We do expect them to continue to trend. We do care very much and we're caring, paying very close attention to this. But we also know based upon uh, indicators like the number of hospitalizations that have occurred over the past week or so, we know that it's sort of leveling off, which gives us hope that we're really um, making great progress there. So we continue to work very closely with some of our counties and our areas where there are higher rates of transmission. Uh, again, we're watching very carefully. We're not sure that this is the end of it, but we do think it's a good moment for us to take stock in all the progress that's been made. The fact that our care delivery system is prepared to receive those patients, is providing care for them. And so it's a moment also to look forward about what it might be like for California. Well, all of us would love to see a California and the entire country reopen, get back to some sort of normality. Uh, your governor, Governor Newsom, has declined to offer a specific date for possibly reopening the state. Uh, so what factors or metrics, as they say, are you looking at uh, to make that kind of decision? Yeah, and so um, there, there's a number of indicators, six indicators that we laid out today that I can share with you again that will help us make a decision. But let us be cautious that the decision that we're making is not about a decision to necessarily open the state or return to normal tomorrow. Governor Newsom was very clear today that what we're looking at is a signal that we are ready to start progressing, to start transitioning and modifying the current orders that we have in place, which are stay-at-home orders. They're, they're pretty jarring to um, our communities and our economy. It is no small feat for people to stay at home or for those that are in our um, specific essential sectors to continue working under these conditions. What we are really working towards here is signaling a point at which we can start making modifications in a way that's safe for California and helps protect all of us. I think one of the key things also is that the health impact of COVID-19 is not only the disease and disability and deaths that are associated with its movement. The health impact is also those, the impact of uh, changes in our care delivery system that we've had to make in order to prepare for surge, meaning that there's been elective surgeries that have been canceled. People are delaying some of their preventive care. We know that's not good for people. Being isolated in houses can be very difficult and we know it has health impact. And the I impact on the economy, uh, we know uh, affects Dr. Angel, health. You, you made an interesting point. Sorry for interrupting, but I just want to get to this before we run out of time. Uh, earlier today, you sure. said the new normal in California will look very different going as far as schools are concerned, restaurants are concerned, concerts are concerned. Explain what potentially could be the new normal in California. So the new normal will be about creating space for those people who we think can move uh, more uh, 
carefully through, uh, leaving the homes in a way that doesn't put them at great risk, but at the same time making sure that those populations that we know are very uh, high risk um, may remain still at home. So for example, the new normal may continue to be that those who are older, those who with existing comorbidities may not be moving uh, uh, around, may not be leaving their homes or encouraged to leave their homes anytime soon. The new normal may mean that our restaurants are designed a little differently so that there are fewer tables so that people can have greater physical distance when they're dining out. The new no normal may affect also the way our schools look and the way we access education to make sure that there's greater physical distancing throughout uh, the course of the day when we're doing our normal activities. Yeah, which is smart. Uh, you got to err on the side of caution until there's a vaccine or some real significant treatment that will prevent death from uh, this coronavirus. Uh, Dr. Angel, thank you so much for uh, what you're doing. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course. Thank uh, you. It's a pleasure.